Good morning everyone. This is Dell Inspiron 15 model and the screen is completely shuttered. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly replace your laptop screen regardless any model. Okay. There is some safety precaution that you have to be very careful when you do that. So let's check the model number first. I can see this is Inspiron 15 3520 model. Okay. Most probably this one takes 15.6 inch 40 pin connector without any screw holes on the screen. Okay. As you can see, the bezel is really fine and thin, you know, from the side away. Okay. So previously, when you used to replace any screen, I'm talking about, let's say, around 2008 to 2015, 16, you know, those times. It was very easy to replace the screen. Why? Because you could take out the battery from the laptop by clicking a switch, you know, or just pulling a tab. But nowadays, every single laptop, almost all of them, their batteries are internally. So when you pull out the old cracked screen, as you can see what is happening on the screen, okay? So that's the problem, by the way. So when you pull the crack screen and put back the new one, you always forget to disconnect the internal battery because you don't know how risky it is. From my experience, I found many gaming laptop, very expensive one, around 2,000, 3,000 pound it cost. If you try to replace your screen, out of 10, maybe four or five of them, you're gonna damage the actual GPU or you will short it the GPU, CPU, it could fatally damage your machines. Okay? So, what do you have to do? Now, instead of pulling the front bezel out, we're gonna take the back cover out, disconnect the battery first, then we'll separate the screen panel and the keyboard panel. And then we'll work on the screen panel and it would be super easy and simple. The negative side of this procedure, we have to invest plenty of time to do that, you know, and plus to test the screen is quite difficult because you just completely take apart this laptop, you know, but if you buy from good manufacturer, most of the time screen doesn't come faulty anyway. Okay, so let's do it. So first of all, I'm gonna take out all the screws from the back and get access into the laptop. Let's do it. Okay, so we need some tools as you can see here. I take a couple of Phillips screwdriver, manual automatic in different sizes because sometimes it's very difficult to use the same screw for all the screws, you know, I mean screwdriver. So here is the fl flat opening tool, double-sided tape, tweezer, uh, kind of paint brush to clean it up if there is any dust or anything and let's see what else and the scissor of course to cut the double-sided tape we would need it later on okay so let's start So in this stage, we're going to disconnect the battery, that's the step first we need to do for safety reason. Now you are good to go, you can separate the, this panel from the screen panel by taking out those screws from the hinges from both sides. You have to be very careful, make sure uh, you spend your time enough and use the right screwdriver because if you damage those screws, it would be very difficult and that might damage the actual hinges. 
and don't forget to remove this LCD connector which is right here and the good reason is the actual Wi-Fi antenna they kept into the motherboard okay so those are the thing so first keep it like 40 degree angle use your left hand to support it the reason why you need to hold it 40 to 45 degree angle because when the laptop is completely closed and to pull those hinges up is very difficult at the same time if you don't give it support while you do that you might gonna damage one of them okay so use your left hand to hold it and take out all the screws I believe two to four and keep it separate organized and then once the screws out put it down and you don't have to pull the hinges out you would have enough space enough room to pull this up as you can see now super simple At this stage, we're going to pull out this adhesive tape. As you can see, there is no screws holding the actual screen into the frame. So they used two strong, flexible adhesive tape underneath. Okay. Make sure you roll it up and gently pull this. Remember. Don't try to do any rush or anything. Otherwise, you're going to end up like this. As you can see, my right hand tape already ripped. And now it's going to be hard job to remove. So I would make sure I'm not going to make the same mistake on the left one. I have to be very gentle. Have to have the patience. And it would come up like this. Yes. Exactly. See how long it is. 